They chant. No! And hold up signs. Santuario! Dozens of students and faculty at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. I'm one of the 951 students at UTRGB who is unafraid, unapologetic, and here to stay. Protesting what they consider to be a lack of support from their school's president to protect undocumented students from being searched, questioned, or detained for their immigration status. We have over 1,600 signatures from the student population, from our community, from our family members, and he needs to take a stand on this. Abraham Diaz is considered a dreamer. He was brought into the U.S. illegally by his parents as a child. He's able to study at UTRGV thanks to provisions in two Texas bills. But Abraham's also heard the president-elect's tough talk about an immigration crackdown and the promises of mass deportations. He says what he's seen recently worries him, including Border Patrol agents interrupting a public baseball game to question this woman in La Jolla, Texas. That's not the only threat these students face. Last week, Texas Governor Greg Abbott tweeted saying he would cut funding to sanctuary universities, a power that resides with legislators. However, it's something that the vice president of the Young Republicans at UTRGV believes must be taken seriously. There's 79% of the students, at least 79, that, re that receive some sort of financial aid from the federal government. So to leave their education at risk of losing their funding is is a bit reckless. Despite the threat, UTRGV's faculty senate unanimously approved a resolution in support of a sanctuary campus. And their goal is to be the, the largest serving and best serving Hispanic serving institution. You can't have a position like that and not be a hypocrite if you don't take a stand publicly uh, on the side of the students unconditionally. Diaz and his supporters reach the president's office, but he isn't there. We want to drop this off but make sure that he reads it. President Guy Bailey did eventually respond, saying he backs deferred action for students. In fact, he's one of more than 500 university presidents across the country asking the government to continue and expand the DREAMer program. But Bailey did not want to officially label UTRGV a sanctuary campus, saying that he did not think it would be wise after monitoring developments at the federal and state levels. Somebody needs to risk this. Uh, if that has to be me, for our future generations, then let it be me, so that the other students who are yet to come would not go through the same thing that I did. The future policies on undocumented students remains unclear and uncertainty will remain in the air. On the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain reporting. Bailey.